kilio cha Moses kuria kwa rais William Ruto now let's get down to politics let's get, let's speak politics kiasi tuongee siasa kidogo today honorable moses kuria handed over his docket and the office of public service to the former Antony general of the republic of kenya justin muturi now moses kuria has been making public appearances he has been making public appearances and tv and also appearing in tv interviews since he was thrown out as a cabinet secretary for public service what is moses kuria playing at let me tell you one thing we all saw other cabinet secretaries being kicked out of office that includes a uh, former professor ndong uh, joguna dong of treasury the former cabinet secretary of agriculture medika lintori the former cabinet secretary of education uh, machogu former cabinet secretary aisha jumwa of gender the other cabinet secretary who was drawn out nakumincha of health but among all those that have mentioned who which which cabinet secretary have you been have you seen making public appearances compared to those honorable moses kuri has been making which cabinet secretary have you seen being involved in the politics of the republic of kenya as moses kuri has been doing tell me one truth be told none now moses kuri is crying out for help he is crying out for president william ruto to hear him and if not for president william ruto to hear him then the people of mount kenya region to hear him and other opposition leaders to hear him and when i say other opposition leaders i mean the leaders from the mount kenya region who are in opposition with the government of president william ruto when i say these i mean leaders like the former president of the republic of kenya uhuru muigai kenyatta when i say these i mean leaders like former running mate of azimio la umoja coalition mother karua when i say these i mean leaders who have proven that they cannot work with the president of the republic of kenya now we have all seen people who had been tamed and who had been termed as incompetent to hold the office of any cabinet docket in our republic being reappointed again into those offices people like chirchir david chirchir people like kipchumba murkomen aden duale they were appointed in in offices again but moses kuria who was a man that took bullets a man that was criticized to the highest level by the people of the republic of kenya for supporting william ruto and opposing uhuru mugai kenyatta right now he has nothing to show for it and now kuria is out yearning for the blood of president william ruto how will he how is he going to attain his goal i shall remind you one thing i told you the decision to have moses kuria out of government was not a decision made by the president of the republic of kenya the decision of kuria not being in cabinet was a special request from honorable rigathi gashagwa to william ruto specifically bwana ruto ukitaka nifanye kazi na wewe tena ukitaka nirudishe mlima kenya kwa mikono yako fanya kumtoa moses kuria usimrudishe moses kuria kazi kama waziri are you getting me i shall remind you kuria laid out strategic attacks 
all pointing towards the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Who, who is Gashago? Back before we had the whole Gen Z Mandamano thing. Korea was out for Gashagwa. He was yearning for Gashagwa's blood. He was going to dethrone Gashagwa as the kingpin of the Mount Kenya region. But now Gashagwa realized this man without the support of the government, this man without an office for him to hide under, then he is now a free agent, which makes him so vulnerable. And once he goes out attacking me or attacking the president, then he can even be arrested. We all saw how Korea was harassed back. In. Let me tell you, Korea had to forego his certain ambitions. And most of his ambitions were like becoming the governor of Kiambu County, which, yes, he ran for the seat, but it was a shallow campaign for Korea. It was a shallow campaign for Korea. Are you getting me? Korea even had to abandon his party, Chama Chakazi, so that, I don't know ni Chama Chakazi ama ni kilikuwa kinaitu aji. So that he would be appointed in Ruto's cabinet. Remember when Honorable Moses Korea started going against President William Ruto, uh, I mean President Uhuru Kenyatta, Uhuru used the tools at his disposal to humiliate Korea. Kumbuka Korea kiwa dragged uko kitui during one or it, I don't know if it was Mashoja or Madaraka day. Then, Korea was shown dust by Uhuru Kenyatta. Everywhere he went, Uhuru Kenyatta made sure that Korea's moves were unsuccessful. Now, right now, Korea is ameatua inje ni kama paka imenyeshewa. The only move and the only card he has is this. Korea either joins and goes to apologize fully to Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Let me remind you and show you what is happening here. Recently, we all saw what Gashagwa was doing. Wakati kulikuwa na vita baina yake na Moses Korea. Gashagwa was trying every day. Akipata position, akipata chance ya kubegu President Uhuru Kenyatta. He was utilizing that opportunity to seek forgiveness from Uhuru Kenyatta for humiliating Uhuru Kenyatta and his mother during the 2022 general election and also after the 2022 elections. He used those opportunities so that he would at least be forgiven by Uhuru Kenyatta and which would make him get the appointment from the other marquis of the Kikuyu Council of Holders to crown him the kingpin of the Mount Kenya region politics. But let me tell you now that after Gashagwa went ahead to have a meeting with William Ruto and Moses Kuria was drawn out of government, right now Gashagwa forgot about saying sorry to Uru Kenyatta. He forgot about the unification of the Mount Kenya region. He forgot about Kushikanisha Mulima. Are you getting me? Nowadays, he is just a pawn in Ruto's game. His work has been that of now, Kusifia Ruto, Kusifia Ruto, which is something earlier we had seen, he had started disagreeing with it. His job had changed. Now, kumbuka kazi ya gashagwa ijuzi tu ilikuwa kupigana na pombe. Right now, kazi ya gashagwa imekuwa yeye na rais wana launch projects, development projects across the country. Are you getting me? So, this also leaves an opening for Moses Kuria in the Mount Kenya region. Because gashagwa's concentration has shifted from the Mount Kenya region to being a pawn in Ruto's long con. Are you getting me? So this leaves an opening. 
And this opening can only be filled by people who know what the Mount Kenya region politics needs right now. I remind you that Moses Kuria is a close ally to Mother Karua. Apart from that, Moses Kuria can easily get forgiveness and pardon from Muhuru Kenyatta. And once he receives those, then the siasa of Mulima will again change. It's either Ruto incorporates Moses Kuria in his government or allows Kuria to be the opposing factor and the opposing factor in the Mount Kenya region that will join, pol will join opposition come the year 2026 or 2027, then they will have a chance for the presidency come the, 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 the year 2027. Remember, we have few coalitions that are believed to be forming in the Mount Kenya, in, in, in the Kenyan politics. One which is believed to be that of Fred Matiang, who people of the Republic of Kenya through the online polls have proven that they can give the, and can add over the office of the president to Fred Matiangi come the year 2027. So what if Kuria and Mutai Kagwe, who is rumored to be a possible running mate for Matiangi come the year 2027, joins hands with Mother Karua and Uhuru Kenyatta to move ones supporting the opposition come the year 2027. Remember Gashagua? It's just a Gashagua too. The, the politics, the bigger, the bigger picture of the politics of the Republic, it does not know how the bigger picture of the politics of the Republic is run. Ajan Kwambie, somebody can be the deputy president of a country, but he absolutely has no clue of what politics are and how the government is run. That's why Ruto, at akiwa kwa kitanda, at akiwa anakufa, he will believe that Farouk Kibet can run this country and can become the president of the Republic of Kenya more than Gashagwa can. Because Gashagwa ata kichukua urais, either atawale kama dictator, ama atafute advisors ambao watamuelekeza vizuri. For Ruto, he has one man that he trusts his life with him. That is Faruqi Bet. Gashagu has none. Unaniambia sasa Gashagu the man that represents him most the, 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 the nyeri governor, Mutai Kaiga. What? That's total crap. That's why nawambia Moses Kuria has his eyes on the goal. Ruto, it's either you accept me or I will make you pay for it. Mimi auto fanya effort zangu ziende bure. Nili sacrifice a lot to put you in the office of the president. That's what I'm telling you. And you all can see it. But you are see it. Just wait and see. I shall say it. Wait and see. Kama jinza bavo kitabu cha revelation kinasema. Come and see. Wait and see. That's what's up. Remember, this is Celeb Konake. Here we have different political conversations that involve our republic. I had you to make sure that you.